Hello, welcome to the Full Circle Podcast. This is the first one of the day of the world. E <laughs> How you guys doing today? This is Johnny Bones tuning in. Full circle, baby. It's 2.23 in the fucking morning. You know how we get down. It's 2.23. Yeah. You say 43? 2.23. Oh, facts. Well, that's that guy. I'm Bugs. Hello. Um, yeah, it's uh, kind of through the quarantine thing, and it's not, but we've been linked up every other week, week anyway, so the people you're involved with are involved with my people, and we're fine. So that's why we're hanging out right now during the quarantine, but Johnny, tell the people where you're from, what you do, what you want to do. My name is Johnny Bones. I'm from Westville, New Jersey. Westville, ooh. I rap words. Where do you rhyme them? I rap words, bro. That's what I do. Facts. And I get heartburn from the Domino's pizza. You do be eating all the Tums in the fucking shit. I, Tums, bro. I should be sponsored. Endorsed. Something. Why do you eat so many Tums? Is it what you eat? No, it's like, yeah, definitely what I eat. Bro. What do you eat? Pizza, dog. I'm like an Every pizza. day? Nah, I eat all kinds of bodega food, patalio, you know what I mean? Got the... Harper and shit. Mm, grease, grease, grease. We'll switch it up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta switch that up. That's no good. Man, I know. I had you know. a big old thing of Tums, and he came here like three or four times, and they're gone. They're not gone, for the record. He's just trying to tell me they're gone, so I don't take the rest. <laughs> Dude, they're, they're gone. Bro. They're not gone. I was in the cabinet already. It's already in there. <laughs> it's next to the peroxide, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Amen. well, why, um, Amen. why did you start making music? Started making music, man. People actually, shout out to Black Josh. He's the one who pulled me out of what I was doing originally and told me to get in the booth. What, just freestyling? Well, yeah. Pretty much freestyling, bro. Like, every time I drop off, like, you know what I mean? I'd be making sales, driving around late night. I'd just pull up and he'd, we'd be freestyling in the car. Yeah, so you were just freestyling and shit. Yeah. Never thought too much about the shit. But it seems that I got a fucking pretty good talent at this shit. Nah, so, you're nice as fuck, dude. So they say. <clears throat> I wouldn't fuck with you if you weren't, dude. Facts. <coughs> too fucking facts. <coughs> no, like, um, I see a lot of myself in the way that you do the flows and, and connect them. Like, I'm a big guy on, a lot of people say, like, the fast, just because you rap fast doesn't mean you're good, but, yeah, you gotta be good to be able to do that, to fit the words in there, and not just throw random words in, but to keep the tone and the melody, and actually have bars and shit, too. That's exactly what I, like, my influence was in the beginning. My main thing was flows. And then the next thing was bars. And then everything after that kind of didn't matter. Everything else fell into place, obviously. Oh, yeah. So what was your first influence? Like, what was your favorite thing about rap? Was it the flow? Was it the absurdity of the lines? Was it the rhyming? It what was your favorite thing about it? Was, it? it was definitely... The beats. <clears throat> the beat was a major thing. It's just something that got me moving. Like instead of the very, like the, instead the of the typical first, rock music, instead the very of that. first time that I fell in love with rap was actually Clint Eastwood, Gorillas was what I used to listen. Wow, to. Wow, that's I, your first rap one. When I listened to when I, when that guy used to come, that out, shit is funky. Finally, but that's, but so, somebody so, let me yad him. So, it was, so that was rock. So it was rock music that got you into rap, which makes sense of your sound. And why I say you have that rugged, raw, guitar distortion voice, you know? Like, you just have that right. natural 
for the exa- the fucking heavy shit we did the other day. That yeah. shit is perfect. Like that's perfect for your voice. Uh, Remember when I tried to do the chorus? Yeah. And you saw it, it was all over. You did it and it was boom 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 boom. That's what that that's what people mean by pocket. Some people's voice just naturally the shape of their mouth, their body, their throat just hit that spot. Whereas I hit that other spot and then you hit the whoa like I can't do yeah, I couldn't do that, but uh, <laughs> so that's gnarly as shit, dude. Next so like and that, and and it's very obvious that rock was the major influence. So for you to say that Clint, East, Clint Eastwood is was the thing that got you into rap, Clint Eastwood's the shit. So it, it's that's that's great. That so who was your first rapper besides Eminem or the typical? Hmm, I'd have to say <clears throat> that 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 people wouldn't think of. Well, I used to, when I was young, I used to jam to A-Clown, yo. Oh, facts. Convict music was my shit. Facts, dude. I, had I, used, a, I got... My I got, neighbor loved convict music growing up, dude. I got... I got That was my sister on my, like... My sister got me into shit, birthday too. Or whatever it was. I forget, man, but she got me a CD. And I used to walk around with my little fucking CD player bumping that shit. Dude. The Walkman. Yeah. And you know, I used to be playing all that shit. My favorite song by him was probably... The one with Young Jeezy? Nah. <laughs> That's a dumb typical. It was, uh... Damn, what's that lonely. song? Lonely. It was... I'm still lonely. Ah, oh, I can't think of the I name. I have nobody of my own. Dude, I love <laughs> that song. Oh my, I used to fucking... Tr- I used to cry about the imagine. I was. I used to get sad about the imaginary girl that I didn't have yet with that song. I'm trying to think. And then it happened. I manifested that from that favorite song. song I came to think. <laughs> it's okay. You have a lot of favorite Akon songs. Yo, I'm saying. It's so, so that's long. what you got in the rap. So no, like so. So where did your rapping scheme come from? What what rapper influenced your flow? Kevin Gates. What? <laughs> hey man. See, wait, hold on. So Clint game. Eastwood, Akon, Kevin Gates. So who influenced the way that you rhyme? Like what you talk about, and how you rhyme it. Like. You ever listen to Kevin Gates? No, <laughs> I don't listen to music. Hey man. Besides, hey, man. when I was growing up, he speaks that shit. All about. <laughs> From what I've heard, I, c- I can hear the major not, not, not I can hear not the Not his new shit. Not the new shit he's got coming out. I'm talking like... I can hear the resemblance. I'm talking like Murder for Hire. No, I'm, one, I've heard... I know Murder songs from... Two. Like, I, I know Two Phones. Two Phones ain't what I'm talking about. He's That's like, the only you, one I really when, know. When, you, when I'm talking about Kevin Gates, I'm talking about like Luca Brasi. One, Luca Brasi. Two, you know what I mean? What I'm saying is I, I can hear the resemblance. I hear that. As far as as far as the flow, so like we're missing one more thing. The subject matter. <laughs> is that you? Or is that like does that stem from anything else? What's that? Because remember how you were saying earlier you wanna you wanna make something positive tonight. Meaning that you focus I'm, on I pretty uh, the re- the my lyrics, everything I make is all mood savvy like when the way I feel is how I'm gonna record that song that day and you've lately felt I mean I mostly mostly felt you listen to any of my records bro maybe like three or four of them are positive or somewhat not negative but they're not positive like they're coming for heads type shit coming for heads but like See Me Ballin' is more or less a positive track. More or less just saying, fuck them, I don't care who don't want to see me win. Is Why do you think that is? Is that a is that a musical thing? Is that strictly musical, I want to prove a point? Or is that you expressing your life? It's more or less an output. A, just period, you have something output, to prove? Because, I mean, it's easier to put it through music than it is, you know, put it through violence. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, for me, I have a lot to lose, so it's easy to like find a way to, 
you know, ventilate all this aggression I got. It's better to scream. Rap is the phone. best way for that. That's why heavy metal and rock, dude, you do also have that sound. Hell yeah. Talking about Black Josh, Black Josh was in a heavy metal band, and what we were talking about was his, his sound right now. He's actually doing kind of the opposite. He wants to get more of the... More the versatile. cleaner, yeah, of that because he's already done it and that's what he can do. He knows what he's Hell capable yeah. of. So so you're in that spot right now where you did that, you did what you've felt essentially. So what are you looking forward to? Like what 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 is your next move with music? What's your next move period? About to start doing gospel. No way. It's like, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be so excited. Yeah. I don't care. Hey, man, I ain't, I ain't prone to it. Hey, I'll fucking do anything like that I really want to. Like, it depends on, like, the mood I'm in. Shit, I, I got a country song I'm sitting on on my computer right now that I was fucking around with. Nah. Yeah. After you all that fucking, that. all that fucking old town road shit happened, I was fucking going through the beats, and all you would see was... Little Nas type beats and oh, uh, and they were just all over there. And I see, now I see, I, I saw this this one beat stood out. It was like a country type beat, and I'm like, yo, this shit kind of hard. And I got a little chorus going, but I never really finished it. So musically, you're you're kind of just rolling with it. You're not really. I love I I don't I love music. Period. I, I love any kind of music. So whatever, what, you're just going to make it. depends on what I like, you know what I mean? It's not mm-hmm. like I'm prone to like, like I used to hate on country. Well, not, I'm, that's not what I mean. I'm, I'm asking because like, because I have like set things that I want to do, but I'll wake up the next day and feel that and I'll make that and it'll cancel me from making that album and I'll make a new album the next five days. And then... That next week, I'll be away from that one, and I won't go back to that project till sometimes a year later, you know? So that's why I'm asking. I'm not, like, putting you on the spot. I'm literally asking, do you have some sort of projection of what you want to do musically? Because I know you're down to do whatever otherwise, mm-hmm. like me. Organization-wise, more or less, like, what I have. If I have plans on anything, shit. I ain't got nothing to organize, nothing planned for shit. This is what I did. Just <laughs> with it. Uh, hey, just man. Just send it. It just fucking took me almost fucking a year to put it, together dude. Blood and Bones for my first tape. It didn't take you a year. All them tracks together, yeah. Nah, it didn't take you a year. It just took you a year to figure out the logistics of it, not to yeah, make I it. Yeah, I mean, as far as it goes for, like, that part of the music, <clears throat> the, like that, you know, like, the scenery, man, like, trying to figure out... All like, would you cancel out a lot of other songs? It took me a long time to make my shit, my decisions on everything I want on there, and it took me a while to even finish the shit. Cause I'll fucking finish a whole song, leave three quarters of the track done for six months. Well, I did that. I do the same thing, but I make a lot. You know, so like, you imagine know, imagine that over years and years. That ending a like, verse. I did it for years. Is my biggest critique point of my whole song. Mm. I don't know why that that's so, that was I mean the beginning used to be hard for me so it's the flip a flip script but Can I, I used to have it? a way to I, I used to like <laughs> imagine like bugs cruising down in eight five six and then I see a dumb bitch trying to suck my dick <laughs> like that's how rap used to start so so like thinking of whatever subject or it doesn't matter the subject I would always have trouble starting it. So you have trouble ending it. And it's like, to me, ending it is the easiest thing. Because it's easy to shut a door, you know? Yeah. Not if there's something in the way of it. I mean, mentally. (laughs) (laughs) That metaphor didn't work. But it doesn't matter. But, like... It's it's the same thing. What I'm what what I was telling you about the end of the verse is what I needed to hear about the beginning of the verses. It's just like the, just fucking talk, just say something. If it's corny, backspace. Right. Say something again. If it's whack, backspace. And guess what? You never say anything whack, so you never have to backspace. Right. <laughs> 
I've backspaced probably fifty <coughs> percent of the time, but it's because I'm spelling it wrong as I'm typing it. So I'm like spell, 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 spell. I'm joking. No, like I, I, I critique my shit, but yeah, I'm a. I'm, what I'm saying man. is, I, I go, I go for the first thing and I take it. You know, I'm never sit there and think. That's what I did the first couple months of it. The beginning of I would never know how to start a verse and that. Then I just said, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna talk." Fuck you. I feel like this or like whatever, you know. And then it, and then it just ends when it ends, you know. Then you start understanding the feeling and the vibe of the shit, you know. When you think a lot, you're like, that's when. It's weird. It's like yeah. if you're trying to build this big cake and like you put the perfect icing, and the second you put the last. Jimmy on top, the dog comes and knocks it over or something. Oh, yeah, exactly. That's the thought. The dog is the dog <coughs> is you overthinking it. Right. The dog is you not letting it just be the cake. You're trying to do all this other stuff. It's so weird because that's what I used to do, but on the other end. And that's what a lot of musicians deal with. And that's not music, bro. That carries into your life of other things. You not knowing how to end shit. <laughs> Does that carry into relationships? Fuck no. Oh, Do you know God. how? Oh, you know I'll you just say. Like, a bitch like a bad no, bad. <laughs> Shit. If that was the case. I really wish it was like that. With music. Cause I'll drop a bitch out real quick, like yeah. Oh, which means you just cut off ties. I could end anything. I can end that. But I you can... don't end it in a conversation. Oh, I can end it. I'm good at ending conversations. By, by stopping talking or by ending the conversation? This is where we got to dive in. No, this is... Do you just I... stop talking? Do you just end it with disrespect? Or do you actually psychologically win the war? Because at the end of your raps, you're not psychologically winning the war. You're letting the rap beat you. All right, well, I guess you're right then. Cause Are they beating you? I'm still ending that shit regardless. But you just said by, by cutting... fuck you, bitch. But, but yeah, by, by, by <laughs> cutting communication isn't a win. That's what I'm saying. Uh, so you're technically... Well, I guess if you would say, if they're still talking and you're not... You pretty much win because they're still trying to talk to you. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I'd take it dog, man. I mean, no, like that 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 <laughs> could carry over to so many things because they they could be wrong in that case. But but you know what I'm getting at. I'm 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 poking a little deeper there. You know. Yeah. That's what these are for. I'm try- I want to dive into people's brains. I want to. I hate hunching over in chairs, dude. I'm Don't like hunch. Hunchback. You want to sit here? Let's I'm switch chairs. Like- Alright, I'll sit Two toe Johnny. Two toe Johnny with the two <laughs> up. With the smoky two up. No, that's gnarly though. Oh. That's a gnarly. Is that better? Yeah, stress that shit out. My back is killing me. That's a gnarly recognition though, dude. You didn't. That's that's a big step. You didn't. You weren't defensive. At all. You were like, huh. And you didn't say you were I was right or you were wrong or you didn't say that. You just acknowledged it. That was all I needed to see. That was yeah. that was a leap year of growth, bro. Like for those who don't know, like sometimes people don't even realize when you're joking or anything and some people get like defensive in a goofy way or whatever it is, but it's still that. Just like a joke is half real. You know when someone's joking, 50% of it is they Not, really mean that yeah. shit. <laughs> just, like, just like what happened there. You know, 50% of that was that. So it's like, it's a give and take thing. That's awesome, dude. I'm so fucking crazy, dude. I like, I'm sorry. I, lo- I love diving into people's brains and like really understanding people, how they move, how they network. Because I'm a weird motherfucker, dude. <laughs> Like, for real. Yeah. And, and I know I'm not the only one weird. I'm weird. Yeah, and you, we're all in our own head all day, dude. So you're, like, hanging out with yourself 24-7. Okay. And so am I. So I, when I feel I'm, like I'm weird because I listen to my music so much. No, dude, that's what I do. I don't listen to music. Think about that. I don't listen to music. I haven't listened to any music besides just whatever's playing. In six years, seven years, I've really just been doing it, just just making shit. I don't want any influence. 
Yeah, that's how I feel. And I and a lot of people say I'm wrong for that. Well, I've never listened to Kevin Gates, so I don't... I can hear the resemblance, but I don't know if it's style well, for style. Say, well, it's, it's 100% not him. I mean, Kevin Gates is pretty much <clears throat> one, and, one of kind kind of do. I mean, that man really paved the way for a lot of people now that are, you know... I really, jacket. I really do only know the two phone song. People do fuck. With, I, I thought people fuck with him because of his interviews. Yeah, he's a he's a really intelligent person, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I thought people, I didn't like. like he I, knows a shit. Too. I've I've only seen I've seen. That's more, why another reason why I've I seen more clips of him, him talking like, than more or less. I I can't fuck with rappers or people like that. Ain't really, you know, have any intelligence to him. Motherfuckers are just saying whatever comes, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, I that's the thing I'll do. I'll Especially if I don't like their music, the, I'll look up their interviews. Because, like, I might like them as a person. And then I'll understand why they're where they're at. But yeah. sometimes it's, like, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, exactly, bro. Like, I don't like, I don't like all that bullshit, man. Like, you talking like you're shooting all these guns, doing this and that, but then you're crying and hiding. Oh, uh, yeah, well, that's, that's, I don't... I, like, don't I, don't listen, that's, I don't listen to, like, no, nah, I don't. Well, I'm not, not even talking about. The, if I do listen to I'm not even to me, talking about mainstream. I'm talking about list, in general. People, I, I yeah. Anyone people. can lie. That's the thing. That's, imagine being in a band, right? You're a guitarist, and you shred, and you're an epic shredder. And this one band gets on, but the guitarist is lip singing with the guitar. You know, he's not really playing. He just looks cool. So, so he has someone goofy looking playing it on the records, but he's acting like it on stage. Well, that's disrespectful. That's, that's just like that's those rap. That's just like that's, those rappers, that's bro. That's disrespectful. It's the dude. same thing happens, bro. In rock, that's it's fucking bullshit. And think about where rock went. Damn, it's not that great no more. There's, there's no, th- there's no one. There's never, there's hasn't been a Red Hot Chili Peppers or a Nirvana or a Green Day for twenty years. They're out there, dude, but the people don't want My to band, the them. only way, we're right here. Yeah, they don't see you. That's what I'm saying. They don't want to give the it recognition. Went, it got easy with the DJ. It went from five band, five band members and uh, this, this, this to two people and an entourage that is not under contract. So the person, the rapper, takes care of basically the band now. You know, it's, it's it like... And then the labels with online, it got switched over with the streaming, but now the labels own the playlists. So we're right back. We're even worse than we were with the CDs and looking for... The only benefit is that we can be independent and we can make it ourselves in our room. Right. But we can't get those placements unless we pay a shit ton of money, which none of us are doing. The algorithms, obviously that controls what gets noticed, where it gets noticed. How it gets noticed, how fast it gets noticed, like the algorithms are like we're. That's hard to. That, yeah. The internet is literally yeah. taking. The, Twitter and YouTube, they are literally. It sucks taking our freedom of speech away. They're not allowing certain things to be seen or posted. Just like I'll tell you what, it's fucked figuring up, them bro. Out, figuring out them algorithm, bro, is one. Bro, no, it's not figuring of, shit out. It like, figuring out is. how they work, bro, and, and, like, calculating it and, like, trying to figure out no, what the what method is. No, it is dude. It like, is yo, I'm is. telling you, it'll drive you crazy. You tell no, me I already did it. No, that's, that's what I'm saying. It is what it is. They're, they're already set, pretty much. Like, it's exactly what, like, Twitter and YouTube and Facebook, they kind of fell into that spot because they were the first ones. But now that we're 20 years into it, and we see how much they control shit, that they're going to turn into the uh, digital government that control the media, control what can be said, who can say what, who can say what to who, you know, what's deemed offensive and what isn't. Can you say, I'm seven feet tall when you're five foot ten? You know, I know you heard that correct. Yeah, that was awesome. Can 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 you can you tweet? I'm seven foot two. When you're five foot ten, you could do whatever. But can you want. tweet? You can heal Corona with disinfectant. No, you can't. Why? 
Because the motherfucker be on your ass. What's the difference? They're both lies. They don't want to... Hey. They're both freedom... Of, they're, they're both... I think you can do it with... I think I'm seven foot two. You guys consider inches that. I consider an inch that. Like, <laughs> seriously. That's an argument for anything psychologically. That's wh- That's why America is like the freedom of speech place. So it's really weird how Twitter. Well, yeah, you right. Twitter and I YouTube. No. I just feel like they. Be Twitter trying, and YouTube, bro. I say no because I feel like they be trying to cover up anything with that co- that COVID shit. No, uh, it's a weird. It's, Dude, it's I really weird. feel that way. Like, you you seen you seen the uh, the big ass steel gates they put on the tunnel, the Highland Tunnel between New York and New Jersey. Oh yeah. They're gonna seal the city off, dog. The motherfuckers, man. I will tell you what. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Motherfuckers better bring a fucking army. Sketchy, dude. Because I don't know, man. Shit's going to hit the fan. And hopefully I'm behind that bitch. <laughs> Where are you born? Me? Mm-hmm. Stratford. Where have you lived? Why do you sound so country? Why? Because I live in South Jersey. So do I. <laughs> Apparently not. Yes, I do. <laughs> We're in South Jersey right now. Yeah. Well, so I don't know, bro. I've never lived anywhere but here. I've lived all over South Jersey. (laughs) Yo, give me the bowl, dude. The bubbler? Yo, this guy needs a revival, guys. Should we give him a revival? Should we give him a revival? (laughs) Revival! (laughs) <laughs> Yo. I don't have the bubbler. I can't revive you. It's out there. I got a shot right there. Oh, but I want the weed. Not the drink. <laughs> I'm already drink. I've already been drunk and on the Not drunk. the drink. I'm about to get drunk again. <laughs> That's just bad news. Yeah, you'd be so burnt in three hours. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, bro, you gotta go. <laughs> Get the fuck out. Oh, what the fuck? This sucks. Let's go get breakfast. No. No. Psych boy, I'll be up early. <laughs> early morning, I'll probably... What All right, well, I'm going to go grab that for you. Um, Why is this thing dead, dude? Tell the people what your... um, What your favorite color is and the first time you knock somebody out. That story, I'm listening. First time I knock somebody out. What's your favorite color first? Damn, dude. Man, attention span, huh? My favorite color is red. <laughs> Facts. Oh. Cliche. Typical, dude. Cool, cliche, right? Yeah. Whatever, because I like blood. Are you a redhead? I am blonde. Blonde. With like. Yeah, because it's not red. With like red beard. It's not red, though. Dirty blonde. Alright, what's the first time you knocked someone out? First time? How Damn. old were you? Where were you? Why? Fuck, dude. Damn, this is a long time ago. Fifth grade, Magnolia Public School. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker was big as hell, bullying me, trying to take all my lunch money. And I had to rain his fucking cocksuckers. <laughs> Put them to the ground, man. Put them to the ground. It felt so good, and I didn't stop doing it ever since. It was actually the first time I stand, I stood up for myself. And it actually put, like, something into perspective for me. Like, when the people, man, the, the them tough guy, bully motherfuckers, man, that love picking on everybody, I'll tell you what, they fall the hardest. What, dude? Do you know why he... Why he hits you or whatever? Why why he was bullying me? Yeah. Because I used to have a fucking terrible case of warts on my hands. Oh, uh, so it was like a physical appearance bully. Yeah, bro. It was like the kids... It had, wasn't like... I had no friends growing up at all. Literally. Nobody wanted to be my friends. My friend, my hands were covered in warts. 
Was it that bad? Yo, I used to have like 300, dog. Oh what? Yo. It was, how? My hands were disgusting looking, bro. How? How, that, how are they good. gone right now? They're gone, but I got one back. Yo, I had them gone for fucking years. I had surgery on my hands. Wait, what? How, how do you, like, what is, is it? Is it like a skin condition? Is it hereditary? I used to be, I used to be fishing, like, for, like, when I was a kid. Oh, is that why they used to say don't grab toads and shit? I guess so. Uh, Whoa, I, I dude, I because re- I used to be swimming in the lake trying to catch frogs and shit, and I heard like you're gonna get warts, and I'm like, what? How to? F-? And I I never got warts, but I stopped chasing frogs too. So yeah, man, I'll tell you what, they that scared shit, me. That shit sucks. So you the fact that you just said you fished a lot. I used to fish. I used to do all that shit when I was a kid. Dude, I'm about to ask Google. Bro, I don't know, but I'll tell you what. Motherfuckers, I used to get them shits lasered off, frozen off, Ugh. and they would just keep coming back, bro. Like That's it. so weird. So, does it, what does it feel like coming back? Huh? Do you know when it's coming back? Like, does it itch or hurt? I, hey man, I, I, I don't know. It's more or less like. What? That shit creep up on you real quick, like you don't even know it. And it's just there. That's so crazy, dude. I'd be forgetting well, yeah, about. I'd be forgetting short, about shit like that. Like people have eczema, like dry skin. Yeah. Long story short, people used to fucking. Oh yeah, that's what they they, they used to like. <laughs> they used to pick on me for that shit. Something I couldn't fucking help. You know what I mean? Something that was just there and like. Mm-hmm. Nobody would fuck with me. And as a kid, you don't understand that shit. And I tell you, the first time I knocked that motherfucker out, that was the like best. Like, you thing. knocked him out. Like, he cold. was cold. Cold on the ground. In fifth me, grade? Me, mercifully. Were you a big fifth grader? I was so little. You were a small guy. So That's little. why. Why are the biggest guys the smallest small? I don't know. That's so weird. Because I was Dude, tiny, too. I fucking, I destroyed this man. I, I still remember it. Cause it was it was pretty fat. It was <laughs> it's pretty fat. I see you looking back at it. Keep looking. Remember. What? I mean, you were just looking at like the movie reel of it. Find it. Yeah. Well, more or less, I I I hit him. He felt like a bitch, and I got on top of him. Didn't stop beating his ass until somebody pulled me off, and he was fucking bleeding everywhere. And it was great. So that's, uh, that's not a that's, knockout. So you that's, just you just no, beat he him was the fuck. Oh, it was a TKO. Yeah, he was out. It was a technic. He was not bro. I was down. beating his face for fifteen minutes. That's why it ties into why my favorite color is red. That's what I was. Obviously, we know that. <laughs> we already knew that. <laughs> why your favorite color was red? Because man, blood and bones. <laughs> Shit, man, that motherfucker got his ass whooped. I'll tell you what, he never even walked in the same hallway as me again. How did you feel after that? Like, recall how you felt as a kid. Did you feel... Did uh, you still feel anxious? Felt, did you feel anxious or stressed still? I felt, did you still feel like he was going to bully you? I felt the stress leave my body forever. You didn't feel like he was still going to fuck with you? After I seen what I could do, I didn't. I had no fear. I had no fucks to give. I was forever from there on out. That didn't scare you. What? That you had no fucks left. I didn't care. I was just fighting everybody. After that. I so you wanted to fight people after you well, wanted no, to I test didn't, yourself. I didn't want to fight. I didn't. I didn't want to fight innocent people. I but you, to, yeah, but you wanted to test. I yourself. I was more or less growing up, bro. To be real with you, I was the fucking the guardian. Mm-hmm. Of who? Oh. The geeks. The, the, the people who, the, anyone who won't stick up for yeah, themselves. Yeah, yeah, Anybody that's getting fucking Because you were that. Because two, three years later, you were bigger than everybody. Yeah, and it was a fucking, it was a, it was a shame because a lot of the motherfuckers, man, they still, to this day, they be trying to hit me up, trying to be cool with me. I'm like, bro. But a, dude, it happens to me. Kinda, but you come it kind of happens to me I, every week. And dude. like, I got, like, it must have been like two years ago, I got one of the biggest bullies from back in my day, hit me in my inbox. Yo, what's up, man? How you doing? I'm like, bro, you Isn't ever message weird? You ever message me again? I'm gonna fucking destroy your face and mutilate your body. They don't even deserve a response straight up. Like I, I will. Fucking, they don't deserve that from you. But like, and I see all these, all, all these sports athletes. It's like, like bro, because if you, because think about it, like if you do that now, you're them. Then, 
Yeah, but I see and it, Hold on, no, 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 listen, it cancels that out. It cancels that out. So the only thing you can do to not be them, unless they still are them, on you, is to not, like, period. It sounds so dumb. Like, they be wanting, but, it's like they want forgiveness or something, and you're not going to Yeah, and it. don't give it to them. But if you give them that, that's that's kind of just, insin- that's, uh, what's the, not insinuating, um, that's, uh, emphasizing that they were wrong before and they're not going to understand they're going to take that as um I already repented mentally they're not they're going to take it this person still has to grow you understand what I mean me a person like that is never going to accept the blame they're going to always look at it like I'm still learning I repented I'm still growing whereas a person like you you know that they're doing that but you got mad still which shows them that they, so it's it's such a reverse fucking mind fuck. <coughs> this whole fucking <coughs> existence is a mind fuck. Bro. It used to be, be the best feeling, man. Beating people up. Nah, well, it was a great feeling doing well, that. Well, I'll but tell you, like, for a reason, so, like, let, let me tell you, I, I only beat, I only beat like one, like two people up, but it was, <coughs> it was like on some. I was young. It was on on a girlfriend shit, and I I would never do that again. It was some stupid shit. A girl that didn't matter. I as far as protecting myself, I've only had to fight f- like five or six times on top of that. So I've been in like eight straight fights <clears throat> technically, but the six where I've had to protect myself, bro, it's never felt. Nothing has ever felt better. Bro, like there's when something I tell about you- when you connect and put them down. Yeah. Like, when I smacked that dude in AC and knocked him out with a smack, and I gave him a half a block's worth of backstepping, I said, you got three more steps, two more steps, and just smacked him, and he knocked out cold. I will never forget that. <sighs> just, like, because every other fight was pretty much, I got, every other fight I got snuck, too. It was never a square up. It was ne- I've always got snuck from behind. So this was the first time where, like, okay, I've always got... It was like a full circle thing. I always got snuck. I'm going to give him like a full block. I know he's fucked up. We're in Atlantic City on the boardwalk. Whatever. But I'm with a group of girls and shit. So shit's weird. He didn't stop. I saw his buddy had a knife. That's that. You know? Yeah. So, so I know what you mean about... There is a thing about just that... That that's initial a, connection where it's a... That's like one of the parts... It's a primal thing, dude. Like, that's what I'm... Like, yeah, it feels good beating on shit and beating on people. That's why I But my favorite fucking thing is being there for somebody who wasn't... Protecting someone. Like, like I'm always going to be there just because nobody was for me. No one was there to stick up for me. Nobody would. And that's the fucked up thing. Being in that spot that I was in, I was the most uncomfortable fucking person living in fucking fear so long. And then I finally manned the fuck up and took care of business. And from that point on, I didn't have to worry about it. Where'd you, where were you grow up? <coughs> uh, well. No, I, what town? What towns? Like, dude, it's first like, grade to fourth grade. I know you moved around First grade to like, f- Let's go through it. First grade to fourth Because it's all Jersey, so Sam. Say the town. First grade, fourth grade, fucking... First to fourth? First to fourth was Morristown. Wow. Morris or Morris? Morris. Morris. Not Mor- Morris. Morris. Mor- like the Morristown Mall. Yeah. Yeah. That's there, right there. Then all right. Nine years old. Morristown's <laughs> not, not... At that time wasn't bad at all. No, nah, that place is fucking pussy. Yeah, that at that time was not bad at all. I I hated it there. And like... Ten years ago, it's half like, and half. I, I don't know what it is I, now. I, I pretty much... Don't remember majority. Well, that's fourth grade, though. Majority all fifth that. Fifth grade. Fifth and it's grade, funny, that story you just said is that. Is fifth nine, grade is, is about when nine starts. years old. Fifth grade nine is when, years old nine years old is when she starts. And then that's when. So my, what town is that? My parents what divorced. My parents divorced. And At nine, nine years old? Nine years old. That's why you moved? Then we moved and I started my journey with my mom, which was a fucking hell trip. Oh, so in fifth grade you were there with your mom? I was in Magnolia with her new boyfriend. Magnolia. Ooh, that's a weird place. It is weird. It sounds weird. weird. I didn't like it. It's a weird place. I did not like that place at all. 
I, like, I stayed, only two I ways stayed, to get there. Listen, I I stayed there. All right, so this is the road. Jersey's so weird. This is the road. It goes Morristown, Magnolia. Yeah, that's what. It's a tiny little spot. It's only you Morristown, can only get there. Morristown, Magnolia, there. and then it go went to Cherry stayed, Hill. I stayed, stayed at stayed at Magnolia for like a year. Moved away from fifth to sixth, and then moved to. Marlton to Barton Run. You lived in Barton. That's where I lived. Yeah, I lived in Foxwood Court. So what pool. year though? Uh, so you were in sixth I went grade. To, I went to DeMacy, so I don't know. How did you go to DeMacy in Barton Run? You were in the front of Barton Run. I was by the pool. You were still in that. You were in that front section. Though you weren't in the back. I'm more towards. I was where, in the back of Lakes. I'm more to, towards to where Creamy Acres was. Yeah, I was in the back of Lakeside. By King's Grant. No, Going that's... Towards King... That's uh, a different place. Well, no, I'm saying... That were you in that little cul-de-sac? I was in a cul-de-sac. Yeah. Right at right That's there. where my grandma... So moved. you were right in the cul-de-sac right there. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Dude, that's crazy. I then used to I do moved. mischief... I used to do mischief night over there, dude. Then I moved... Lucky you didn't live there then. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Dude, I don't know, but... Long story... So, about you, did, whole so you went to DeMacy, though. You didn't go to Marlton. DeMacy was different than, I mean... DeMacy sucked. DeMacy was different than Marlton Middle. I hated it. I used to fucking hate that place. But they have, like, green and red hall? I don't remember. We had that. blue, yellow, and purple hall. I don't remember that shit. Your middle school had different colors. It's so weird how all the towns... Yeah, I don't remember that shit too much, but uh, it was it was So where'd worse. you go after that? After I went Marlton, it went... Uh, Marlton. We went to West Effort. Seventh grader? No, like... <sighs> Damn, dude. I'm all, there's so, bro, there's so many. I'm well, think about from. it. No, think about it. I'm, I've moved from... I could just name the places I've lived in. That's, go, that's what we're trying to go in that order. So you went <clears> from... Morristown. Magnolia. Marlton. Marlton. <clears throat> West Effort. Uh, Gloucester City, Camden, Pensalkin, fucking Sicklerville, moved to Maple Shade. Maple All before 12th grade? Maple Shade is where I went through high school. All, to, all four ninth, years? Ninth grade I went there. So before that, you went through... And then I was in seventh grade of... And then I moved to Westville for a while. That's where I was at with my pops for a little bit. Hmm. But my mom was all fucked up on some shit. Moved there, went to Gateway. That's where I pretty much... That's why I say I'm from Westville. I'll stay there the longest I have anywhere. Stay there like fucking five years. Because you went years. back there after? And then I went to Maple Shade for the remainder of all high school. Like, ninth through 12th, I actually stayed in the same school for once. Like, I, I went through... Some, How'd you like it there? What? At Maple Shade. I didn't go to Maple Shade High. I went there, yo. It was a funny story, yo. Maple Shade... I went there for an orientation to Maple Shade High, right? And by the time I got to ninth grade, I must have been in at least 70 fights. When was your last fight? What, last time I fought? Yeah. Uh, damn, bro. I fought this dude at Shalene's at this bar in Westville, like, when it was f fucking cold out. <laughs> so, so, like, three uh, months ago? <laughs> no, bro, it wasn't that long ago. Two months ago? It wasn't even a fight. I wouldn't call it a fight. You like, just punched him? I didn't knock him out cold. Bro. Why? Because he was trying to fucking hit this bitch. And I was like, yo, these security. Why are you being superheroes? Because he's fucking in my bar and I've never seen him before. Your bar? Yeah, motherfucker, my bar. Your bar, Yeah, dude. the place where motherfuckers go and act up and get cracked by me. That's <laughs> where I hang out. Get paid for that, then. They, they do bounce. What, do. they give you a beer? No, I bounced there a couple times. Dude... I bounced there, man. I got my Celine shirt. You gotta chill with that. What? Being a superhero? 
Why? Well, yeah. Watch the Avengers, dude. No, yeah, you gotta chill. With well, that. no, I don't. It's I'm not, not. It's not, not. It's not fifth grade protecting people from a bully. It's. Well, don't get. A, it's like a thirty-seven-year-old who gave up on life, who doesn't care what happens. That's different, you know, than a kid who's lost and is abused by his fucking uncle. Well, bro, I'll tell you what. I, I don't fucking know. I'm in the heat of the moment. I just know what to do. With you you gotta know. This I just swing, you. bro. You gotta swing know. for defenses. Well, that's I, fine. <laughs> I get put in. Well, swing away. You especially seen? when I'm sitting on the porch of the fucking bar, bro. I'm not even inside the bar. Well, I'm obviously, sitting on the porch. I don't I'm expect on the you porch. to stand idle to bullshit. I'm I don't so, expect that. I can't, bro. I would I never porn, expect you to watch some bullshit happen to a female. But. When there's tension, bro, and I can feel it near me, all I know how to do is just destroy it. Attack! Attack! Yeah. It. Destroy <laughs> that fucking shit, cause fuck that. I ain't gonna let it destroy me. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Cause you were there, yeah. And then like facts, bro. But like, you gotta be. You're aware. You're very aware of that, though. I'm you're not clearly, willing to start some bullshit. Like, you're clearly very aware of it, though. So that that's a good sign, though, which shows that you. But yeah, can, he didn't you, stand a chance. Though. You can handle it. <laughs> that motherfucker hit the ground faster than. If you hand. never hit him, you still would have said he never stood a chance. That's the thing. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. If you never hit him and never knocked him out, you would still be sitting here saying he never would have stood a chance. You know? That's what I'm trying to get at. Well, yeah. So does it really... Speak facts. Do anything at the end of the day? What? What, the person I fought? Does it do anything for me? For you, yeah. Not that... Did a lot. It felt made me feel real good. Temporarily. Nah, I mean, I still think about it and feel happy when I think of it. <laughs> like, if I had that shit on video, boy, I'd be vile. <laughs> shit. Because that shit was I fucking funny. I fucking love funny. you, yo. <laughs> that shit was funny, bro. Like, I didn't even say nothing to the guy. I straight, <laughs> I'm straight just all a little bit fucked up. There's fucking dudes out there yelling at my boys, which are the bouncers, cause he's, and then got his fucking screaming-ass girlfriend. Oh, and I'm, uh, yeah, I'm playing the devil's advocate hard. Like, I'm just, I'm trying to see, I'm picking away at why you did it in every way I can. Yeah, you know well, I, mean? I pretty much did But that it. answer, I you, that answer you, just, you just gave is fucking, that needs to be cemented on your fucking... Dude, anywhere your picture is posted. I walked by. I was trying to walk back inside him on the back porch smoking a cigarette. He's out there yelling at my boys. So this is the which last are the time. bouncers? Which are the bouncers, bro? He fucking. He's yelling. He she's over here. He fucking threw a drink on her or some shit. He's saying the fuck. He threw that a shit. drink on her. And dude, like, and he's trying to get at her, bro. Like, he's really trying to get at her, bro. Oh, he's like trying to hook up with her. No, like he's trying to get at her, bro. Oh, uh, like, he's, <laughs> he's trying to take her, her head off. He's trying to fucking beat on that bitch. So I'm just walking by, and I'm like, you know what? Which one's water? That one. Thanks. Yeah, I walked by, bro, and I was just, I just. Gave it a double take real quick. I looked at him real quick, right in his eyes. And he kind of looked at me a little funny, so I just slid his ass real quick. Mm-hmm. Punched him. Would right you hit him with a straight right? Yup. Straight. Just boom. Yeah, real quick, just straight from the fucking hip, you know. Straight from the hip, hands down at the side. Dude, I gotta get the. I gotta get my punching bag from my dad's crib. Well, my dad's punching bag from his crib. Fuck that he had in the 70s, dude. It's fucking vintage Everlast. Is it hard as rock? No, it's fire. I used to shove... I used. To, I made a punch of bag once with like a whole bunch of t-shirts. That's what I was saying earlier. Tom has the Muay Thai one. The one that's like skinny and long. It touches the ground that you can kick. Yeah. So you got that with the punching one. Dude, that's that's a workout, so who's bro. The When's the last time you sparred? Like, I know you like to fight, what, but... wrestle around? No, like, and, like boxing. Spar, like, boxing. I, I, well, I, nobody really want to spar box with no, me. No, just, I when's the last wrestle. time you just, like, worked out, just keeping your arms up, working, like, when's the last time you... I, I don't think I've, I mean, probably, Dude, probably, I had, uh, probably back when, uh, I f- at first, probably, like, Ninth grade, dude. When I got dude, the two years, that's year, what I'm saying. Last when I got the two year membership at the box. Last time, that's I where did I learned it, how to kickbox. I did it. I hadn't did it in six, seven years. I did it last summer with Tom, the the guitarist. And is that the guy with the cape, the dragon? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, the guy. Who yeah, does that's it. Tom. Yeah, he does all that. 
and we were in my backyard training, and bro, just I only I only threw a couple just from holding my arms up, just from getting back into this and doing a couple like four or five sets of that. I was. Ooh. That's not even a minute, dude. It wasn't even a minute. So imagine like a five minute round, bro. Like okay, and. It's not even about the comment. It's not even about the strength of the combat. It's about the form and just standing, bro. My shoulders were gone, bro. I'm, just from I'm fucking, always from fucking doing something with my hands during the day. Like it's I, wanna, sort of, I really wanted to see your hands with that. I want, we gotta we gotta train. It's like spar. It's like we spar. Train if, you, spar. You, if you think about it, like I'm fucking winding a spring like this majority of the day, bro. Yeah. Over my head, fucking wind and tension, and it's getting harder as you're getting weaker. Mm. So it's a real good fucking workout. That's why I'm like a brick in my mm. arms, like winding up fucking torsion yeah, you're very springs. Very solid right now. Winding up torsion springs, bro. Them motherfuckers are sucking, especially when you got the yeah. You got you got wide hands, bro. Like here, look. I like go do like that. Like pulled it up so I can see. Yeah, that's pretty much double. That's literally kind of double the size of my fist right there, bro. Yeah. I don't know. And, like, I got like cutters and yours are just fucking... Clobbers. Yeah, <laughs> clobbers. Well, no, nah, I mean, they. yeah, believe it or not, dude. I fucking... I don't like really fucking hitting people ever since that guy at the bar, to be honest. Like, it felt Like, good. two weeks ago? No, like, it wasn't two weeks ago. It was, like <laughs> it was two like months a couple ago. months ago. Two months ago. A couple, I don't know. I forget exactly what What's that was. What's the last time I got in a fight? Dude, but I oh, gotta say. My last like, fight was the Atlantic City one when I knocked him out with a smack. Yeah, bro, bro. I felt bad because every so time. I. La every last, like, four people I've hit, bro, it didn't go. His friend was wearing his friend was wearing a Pokemon hat. Imagine how fucking mad and sad I was. Dude, last four people I've ever hit, uh, last four people I probably hit, not one of them even went as a fight. What do you mean four people, dude? I'm getting at something. Can you let me talk, dude? A little bit. I'm sorry. I'm like, I just react. I'm sorry. The four, last four, bro, I it, it had to have been. Motherfuckers, I just explode their face. Like, their face is just fucking gushing and spraying Yeah, because your hand is the size of their face. And, like, it makes me feel. <laughs> your it hand makes, is fucking it makes, the size of their face, bro. It makes me feel real fucking bad, though. Like, after I'm done. That's like, what I was getting at 20 minutes, 15 minutes ago. I was trying to... Does it make you feel better that... Deep thing, and you were like, "No, it makes me feel good." Well, it does. Uh, if yeah, at the time, so like, like, that's what I said. It's like said, a, it's dude. like a split point, bro. Yeah, but it outweighs well, like, I don't, itself it, it, to the it, other it, end. It outweighs it, itself on the other end because you think about it. You well, think no, back it's on, more like, less. Did the, I really? Did the good outweighs like, it? The guy annoying the girl. Yeah, that guy deserved it. But there's probably, I'm sure, there's more other situations where you're like, I was a little. Angry. Yeah, I've done wrong things. Yeah, Plenty and those are probably the ones you're thinking about. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, with the dude in the You'll bar, never the dude at the bar. Those. I just, I just hate. Remember doing, what I said doing earlier? like I hate doing like permanent damage. Like, I do you doing. remember though what I said earlier with the situation where I could have done damage, <sighs> but I didn't, and I still felt just as bad. Yeah, and because like, the damage had already been done to me, so I realized it. I was wasting my time on. Focusing on not trying to get revenge. I was wasting my time focusing on trying to not get revenge. Instead of just moving the fuck on, period. You know? Bro. Blake. I say one thing. That's a... When you listen back to this, you're going to hear it. You one know? thing One thing I can say, though, man. You're, you'll hear it. You heard it, though. You heard it. I don't... I don't mind causing the hurt to the people that deserve it, man. Yeah, that's but not that's the, not an at, issue. I'm sure a lot of us at don't. At the end, at the end of it, though, like but seeing, it's not gonna make seeing, you feel better. Seeing the damage, like that I cause, it kind of fucks me up. Only because it's like, damn. I hope I don't gotta pay for that. So you don't. And care another because like, of karma. And bro, like, do you believe in drug karma? What is it? Drug karma. Drug? Like, have you ever robbed someone of their weed or something and 
You want me to put that on this podcast? I mean, you don't have to. But you, <laughs> all right, so you have. So, like, so you believe in karma, period. You also feel like you've been dished a lot of pain, so you feel justified in letting it go by protecting other people. When in reality, half of them were probably because you were angry because of what had happened to you. You know, it's a, it's a very deep thing. You know, I'm not saying you're wrong in protecting motherfuckers, but I am saying... It's a scapegoat. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's a loophole. You ain't even got to say it. I it's know a loophole, it. yeah. I'll fucking beat the shit out of somebody because of my problem. Yeah, it's an excuse. But I tell you what, I can't wait until the... Before I get a reason to do it. There's If there's no reason, I'll be fucking bottled up and trying to figure out elsewhere to relieve my aggression. But if there's an outlet... Yeah, and you know where... If there is an outlet... In those situations, I've seen... I've actually seen you in those moments with a person or people that you haven't been around or just in public. You'll you'll do that. I can... What you just said is exactly what you'll do. And I can see it. You, you'll just stand there. You'll kind of just be looking around for that, for, for a problem, instead of, remember what homie was saying earlier in the session, like, why are you talking so negative, like, for a long time, I thought they were joking, but I think there was, like, that was serious a little bit, you remember? Yeah, you kept calling him, but yeah, kept calling him, yeah, not not to go into it, but you remember what I'm saying, right? Yeah. So, like, that's kind of, that might be a thing, that's what I'm saying, life is, like, a very paradoxical thing, dude. Everything uh, mirrors paradox. everything mirrors itself. So that's why I like to be very blunt, very straightforward, whether it has to be an interview style, whether it's a song to get the message across to the person. I'm trying to communicate with you to the utmost real shit so that we can grow as people for real. What did you go through? What did you learn from it? How did you cope with it? How did I do it? What did I go through so that when you go through it, you'll be like, all right, he did that, it didn't work for him. He did that, and it worked. You did that, it didn't work for you. Remember what I said? I had the ability to break this dude's neck or let him live. Right. I let him live. I had the ability to do the same to someone else. I broke his neck. Both of them, I felt the same. It didn't help. So in the end, that's what I'm saying. We were, I was, I was hurt regardless so no matter what revenge I got, whether it was money, this, that, it wouldn't have felt good because I was still hurt. You'll never forget that moment. You, you, can't, you can't delete a memory. You yeah, cannot just, delete how a motherfucker made you feel, bro. Yeah, That's yeah. why you have that resentment from that little... And you, I, I can't imagine going to that many schools, dude. Like, I went to one school and I hated that. Bro, I, I couldn't imagine being the new kid with warts it wasn't at every for long. school, it dude. Wasn't, it wasn't like that forever. I, I got rid of them probably. That's not, I, I, I'm just. I'm but just, yeah, yeah, moving school to school looking like a fucking freaking fun, bro. That's, that's, that's you know some shit. And just, just school like, to that's school, why, period. That's why. And with your insecurity, That's period. why my record and my fucking schooling is like atrocious and that's not to say what your home life was like i I don't know that we didn't we didn't even get into that like Like, it's crazy we don't need to it's like some crazy shit that's what i'm saying but i'll tell you one one thing man the being a new kid every fucking couple months bro got old real quick bro and i just started walking into school biggest motherfucker that's bullying somebody i first you were the smallest isn't that weird yeah and i I still was small i still was small but you were always stocky right nah i was a skinny little oh yeah you were skinny i saw a picture the other day skinny as fuck i was skinny as shit skinny as fuck bro big ass head fucking like a toothpick kind of grown a little bit probably and I'll yeah, tell you, you what. got like that, ca- that caveman bones. That's what I'm saying. Your hands are big as shit. You probably Dude, always had that big structure. I fucking, I used to just, I just got tired of it at a point. I just first started walking into school and just dropping motherfuckers, mm-hmm. bro. Just getting Muscle it over. prison shit. <laughs> just, just getting it over. I'm like, the guy, fuck you. It, it's, it's pretty much what it came to. <laughs> Did you get friends like. from it, though? I'm sure everybody was on your dick after it. Well, yeah, I, I know a fucking shit ton of people and a lot of, that's why wherever I go in life, like, wherever I go, just like I went to your show, dude, and know your fucking lead singer, you know, bef- like, out of the blue, like, oh, Daryl. Oh, yeah, you got his fucking... 
Yeah, I fucking know him. Where'd you guys? What? Panko what? Tech. Yeah, man. That's so weird, dude. But see, that's what I'm saying. Like, I know a lot of people from a lot of different places. Well, you, I've do been that, you do what he does. He does, like, that car stuff. I don't do that shit no more. There ain't no fucking well, neither, money. I, I don't think you do. There ain't no money in cars, bro. I don't that's care. That's so weird. Cars are, like, the most... There's money in it if you're doing it for yourself on the side, and you have a And you have and a you have clientele. A, yeah, if, but if you're Just working like for... This. If Just If you're working like for a shop, do. but if you... if Like, if you're working in a shop, dude, and you're not in a dealership... You ain't mm-hmm. making no money, bro. You're there waiting. Like I, I, you might as well be serving listen, at a restaurant. I wasted, I wasted thirty thousand dollars. Thirty one point eight nine two on my fucking scholarship. Going to school. Uh, going to Penco Tech, bro. Thirty one thousand dollars, and I still owe them my fucking. I've been paying that shit off. That was such a gnarly hiccup, dude. No, I still owe. Them. <laughs> was I, know, so I was trying to get it the fuck away. How wait? How all right? So how many classes did you go? To, like how many years? How many? In one year, dude. Did you go to classes, bro? I tell you what, that school fucking sucked. All I did was sit in the parking lot and sell. That's how you met drugs. Dara. <laughs> that's all I used to do was sell drugs in the parking lot, bro. And that's how you met Dara. That's what he said. He said he just used to sell in the parking lot, and I would go out there and smoke cigarettes and hang out with him. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I used to fucking be out there selling drugs, bro. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. That's what life is, bro, I guess. Fucking go to Penco Tech to learn something. They got me in the same fucking You class. go to high school, you go to Penco Tech, you sell drugs, you yeah. fight bullies, and then you realize life sucks, and what do you do? You do what you want. And I rap about it. At least you did it <laughs> early, bro. That's what I'm saying. You did yeah, it. When did you start rapping? <sighs> Started like I mean I used to record on the IMT Paint app. Well, you were always you were freestyling forever. Yeah, I when never did you re- start re- when, when I started. When's the first time you co- recorded? My first written. For, no, yeah. When did you write something and be like, I'm gonna record this? Not the first time you wrote, because I know you wrote, but like, when's I, the first time you're like, I'm recording this? Dude, that's like what's two thousand? Oh my god, two thousand sixteen, maybe. When I recorded Ten Poles, or however old Ten Poles is, because that's my first fucking track that I ever made. All right, so ten, so so four years ago. Let me see. Let me see when this was out. Cause yeah, twenty sixteen seems right. See, so that's the thing. I when I started recording in, I started recording in uh, Arizona. That's that's the first time I recorded by myself in my room in Arizona. But I wrote my first rap right before I moved and rapped it at a party. And everybody wanted me to keep rapping, but I didn't have any more raps written. So that's when I was like, all right, I'm going to move away. So when you wrote that, you were like, fuck that. I got to record this. Well, Josh was on, pretty much guiding me, telling me that I should fucking go record that track and write down what I just said. Because mm-hmm. was, it was all freestyle in the car, right. selling him a fucking eighth. <laughs> and he said, bro, I said, pull up on your block See, with like 10 poles. Kamikaze through your 10 poles. That's a true talent, dude. Someone who has it but isn't scared to say, you have it too. He let you know right then and there, bro, you're better than 80%, 90% of these people, dude. That's so awesome, bro. That's so fucking awesome. I can yeah, say you know, prou- I can say proudly I've done that for a lot if it of wasn't, people. If it wasn't for black me meeting black Josh... You wouldn't rap. I probably wouldn't. You be wouldn't rap. S- nah, you wouldn't. Probably rap. would. I'd probably be in prison. You'd be riding. You re- yeah. You'd be riding dirt bikes, doing gnarly shit. I'd have pro- oh, bro. If I didn't just if by I didn't rapping, that off, bro- the rapping brought you into a whole different group. Oh, of people. it took me out of the life, bro. I was yeah. in the streets for real, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, bro, that shit was crazy, bro. Before Cash I started was doing too, it. bro, and Cash didn't get the fuck out. Yeah, God rest his soul. I'll tell you, man. That's brother, bro. Yeah. I tried to get him out, bro. It's 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 rough out there, bro. It is. It's a jungle. It is a jungle, bro. Cause it's just so fucking ferocious, bro. You never know what's gonna come around that corner. You never know what's gonna happen. 
down that street. You know what I mean? You never do. And it's you never know what weird. the fuck, like, like, dude, you can't trust motherfuckers. Like, you can only trust a few. If you start ending up trusting everybody, bro, what the fuck do you think's going to happen? You know what I mean? You can't sit there and trust every single person. One of them, I don't know, you just got to be real choosy, bro, like I was. I mean, uh, I fucking took a love to this music shit. Well, no, that's the thing. Music is the most sketchy industry. That's the, this is the worst, sketchy, untrustworthy industry out of all the entertainments. Even acting and all that and the black couches or whatever they have. Nah, music is the one. Music is where shit gets stolen, where people get hoed. Like, that's the shit, dude. So, honestly, like, you're bred for it. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> like, right. we're both bred for it on the complete opposite spectrums of the situation. But we both still understand the same thing. Exactly. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's why my shit's called full circle. That's why my whole existence is full circle. Because wherever I am, it's where I'm supposed to be. It's not meaning coincidences are on purpose or, like, things don't just happen randomly. But it does mean that wherever you are, you placed yourself there. You're supposed to be there. So embrace it. Whatever happens there, it's your fault at that point, you know? Right. So the convos that we inevitably have wind up being full circle convos because I'm asking you specifically questions about your past life your childhood, so that I can know how you and why you are who you are right now without asking why. Yeah. And in turn, I also respond with who I was then, why I'm asking the question. Basically, I'm trying to delete the question why because the question why is the only question that none of us will ever know. Yeah. That's like the that's the that's the hardest question. It's just to like answer. when you look up, why? It's like you don't you're not gonna get an right. answer. <laughs> Even if you any question why, so like I, that was very basic. That why was basic, but like, oh, why is your hair red? Why is your hair blonde? Why are your bone? Why is your fist bigger than mine? I don't know. Genetics. Why do people think the earth isn't flat? You think you're a flat mo- Yo, tell me- Ah, I'm joking! Ah, he got scared! He got yeah, so Tell me scared. you're one of them flat mo- Dude, I haven't seen him perch up like that in a long time. Bro, he said fucking earth <laughs> is got flat. So, he he like, wanted to fight, dude! Bro, he wanted, yo, yeah. it's fucking obviously round, bro. It's round, the earth is round. Yo, no, I said that in a rap today, I said- I said, uh, your girl is flat like the earth is. That's a, that's a conspiracy, just like her makeup. Yo. That's fucking Or fire. something like that. What yeah, but I know, I know you led into that fucking good, because of, wait, yeah, what? That, the bar. What? Oh, yeah, when we listened to it, yeah, that was fire. I don't remember what I said. Yeah, I don't know what you said either, but I know, you, I definitely know it was fire. Yeah, <laughs> no, it was Because crazy. you definitely fucking let into that good. It was... Because if you, Bro, fuck that flat world shit. This shit is round, so fuck... No, but I said before that, she started shaking that ass, make my head spin like the earth is, and then I say, so, I say yeah. something after that, but she's... But your girl's flat like the earth. I say something like that. Yeah. I say something like, your girl's shaking her ass so my head spins like the planet. But then I say, your girl's flat like the planet. So I give the conspiracy theorists their bait. Yeah. I give them the bait. And then after that, I say, saying, your oh, saying your girl is bad is the conspiracy because her hair is a weave and she got contact colored eyes when she stares at me. <laughs> Dude, she's thick, and so is the. F- you really think? Do you really? Th- you, you. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know none of it, and I don't even want to talk just, about that because I just feel like no, it's none of us have been to Earth, and the the moon landing. I just feel like it might round. be fake, and dude, I feel like it's round because you know why? I stare ahead. I huh. I stare at the fucking horizon, bro, and it just curves, bro. 
It's not flat. <laughs> you know why I think it's round? Your head? Uh-huh. <laughs> Bruh. The fucking earth is fucking round. I know, dude. No, I mean, I don't, but... Uh, yeah. When you go on a plane, are you going, like, straight? Dude, I love playing the devil's advocate for this because no one really knows. All right, this is what I really like to do. What do you think happens when you die? Like, what do you really think? Fuck Complete darkness. You just think it's over. It's over. Over. Done. I no, I feel, like, I feel like... No, don't, don't, don't tell me what you hope. No. Nah, tell me what you really think happens. What I really think... I feel like you do have do some kind of afterlife. you think your energy afterlife. goes somewhere? I do, do feel like your, your soul, your consciousness... Remember how I said earlier, when we're by ourselves, we're just constantly talking and hanging out with ourselves? I feel like, yeah, I feel where like do that's you a think second... Th- where do you think that I think my con- I think your consciousness does dwell. Splits apart? I feel like it does. I, got, I, I hope it does, for all my homies' sake. Well, dude, we all have multiple personalities and feelings. That's got to be, like, an explanation. Dude, but, like, this body, like, I don't know. You've ever been knocked out? I think f- from, like, football one time, I landed hard. I got knocked and out. And then one time I did a balloon at a party in a basement, and I was by myself. <gasps> this is a fucked up story. I got, well, this is an awesome story, dude. You, I'll tell I'll, you, oh, dude, I was, I was fucking I need 18. to smoke something, dude, in this past thing. I need to smoke oh, yeah, that ahead. or a cigarette. Go ahead, dude. Uh, damn sure dude, do not smoke that. no cigarette, dude. <laughs> Hit all that in one hit, dude. That's a, that's a baby salami. I'll use this later now. Hit him with the I baby salami. <laughs> you don't want to get it. Fucking bro. So, I was the wigger in high school. I was like, you went to all different schools, but I was the wigger. Like, <coughs> everybody hated me because of the clothes I wore, bro. Yeah. It was bad. Yeah. You alright, buddy? Yeah, dude. That's some water right there. Um... Yeah, so everybody hated me in high school, but the year after, bro, I, like, kind of got in a little bit of shape, and every chick kind of wanted to hook up with me, and it was, like, a really weird switch up. Do you, you went to, you lived in Marlton. Yeah, but I you went to Marlton. You know anybody named Tag O'Farrow? Yeah, Frankie. You know his little brother, Alex? Does he yeah. have a little brother, Alex? Tell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was my boy. He's a little wild. They're yeah. both wild. Boy, Frankie he, was wild. Me and Alex but, used to always get in trouble, dog. But Alex, yeah, uh, like Frankie was definitely got Alex a little fucked up. <laughs> like, yeah. I definitely remember this. The like, Frankie was the shit there. Frankie was my guy. <coughs> so was Alex. Alex was pretty cool to me when I was fucking living in there. Area. My bad, yo. Keep going with your story. No, I just that's don't awesome. know where. That's so funny that you know that. No, I went to school with Frank. I just like, don't know where. Why Frank is the shit. There. Fucking, um. What was I saying? You were saying something about getting knocked out in the basement. Oh, yeah. So, I was the goofy kid. I was never, like, quote unquote, invited to parties and shit. So, this was the summer, right? This was the summer I, st- I <coughs> decided to be a rapper. This was before I was rapping. I just be like became like attractive to everyone, all the girls around me. We're at this party, right? And it's a big ass nitrous tank. We got there early. So I filled a big old balloon. I went downstairs in the basement to set up the palm before people got there because this is like the John, like and I was the guy with all the weed and it was just like a weird time in my life. And I took a big inhale of the fucking balloon. And woke up on the ground. Oh, shit. And when I opened my eyes, I said, I remember saying, yo, who hit me? Who hit me? And I opened my eyes and no one's down there. So I, in that 20 seconds of waking up, thought someone knocked me out and everyone went upstairs. My delusion of being knocked out (coughs) from, from fishing out, from hitting a nitrous balloon and just flat on my head on a basement when I was 18, 17 years old. So when I woke up 20 seconds later, I'm thinking, I'm like, wait, what? 
And I'll go upstairs, and as I'm walking upstairs, and my homie saw, like, I was, like, woozy, and the night had just started. He knows, like, I wasn't wasted. He's like, yo, I was like, someone, I was like, I think someone just hit me. And he ran up and, like, started freaking out in the kitchen, and no one was there. It was just me and him and one other person, and he was upstairs. So then, as that happened, I remembered that I fucking Passed fished up. out. I so fished out, out, passed out. Hit the ground, knocked out. So I did three fucking knock like things at one time. Yeah, so pretty much that where I was getting that. That was the last <coughs> time I got knocked out. I was getting that. That was the last time I got knocked out. That we were getting that or off subject now. We're talking more or less about. No, like you're talking. I'm talking period. I never got. No, no- I never got knocked out. I'm saying like. we were talking. I was asking you that question because I was asking you. We were talking about what happens next. That just brought me down that lane. I had to tell you that story. Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> like, what happens next, you know what I'm saying? Like, what after you, you go. After life. Oh. That's why we were talking Oh, about well, that. I will tell you, when I was knocked out, there was nothing. See? That's there wasn't I'm, nothing. I'm kind of, I'm kind of like... Yeah. That's what I'm saying, because I got knocked out once before, too. And it was done. I was fucking going up this hill, killer hill, on my on this quad when I was young. And I fucking went up and stalled out. Handlebar on the fucking forehead. And you woke up at the bottom? And I was just fucking tangled inside this quad, fucking burning my leg, like usual. Did someone pull it off? I woke up. Did someone pull it off? What happened? I was just fucking wake up. I woke up, and I was by myself, because I was by myself. But there was nothing. Yeah? Hmm. There was nothing when I got knocked out. It's but not something I'm really used to. So it might be different every time. So that might that's probably what like religion is. It might be a Because like that, just think about if we all knew that there was nothing. Then we would all just be like f- fucking and killing and you know, so like there is a sense of control with that to try to keep us sane and to extend our consciousness, to grow our consciousness and understanding. Yeah. But clearly, look at us, dude. It's not going nowhere. That's why we cling to music. That's why we <coughs> can't cling to a thing that makes us feel something afterwards. There's a thing about playing sports and you can do it. That's the gratification and you watch it, boom, it's performing yeah but the thing about performing music it's not like performing comedy getting laughs and rewatching music is like you wrote it you made it you know where it comes yeah, it's from like i made this you listen back to it you're like oh it's that and then you perform it over and over and it evolves into different performances music art is children like it's the i have ba- i have 700 babies dude that will live forever, no matter what, as long as there's some sort of fucking digital shit. Like, but th- that's the weird thing too. You only live as long as the last time someone says your name. Right. That's right. That's why I like Distro Kid. Bro. It l- lets you leave a <laughs> legacy. Shout out Distro Kid, dude. Yo, it's, it really it does. does. You seen but that? No, I'm talking about apocalyptic shit. If if the internet go goes. Oh, well, shit. I got We're all copies fucked. if you need them. My legacy's gone at that point. Nah, make some burn some fucking CDs and stash them underground. No, I always think about like make some the world's copies. done, right? And an alien species in a thousand years <laughs> comes here, right? And listens to bugs. <laughs> no, but and they open a laptop and it turns on, but they don't know how to open it. They don't know the password. Or they find a CD and there's a CD player right here and it's on. But they don't know how to put it in and they don't know to press play. They don't. So I'm thinking like, yo, I, I, I have a setup to live forever. And that's just the pomp. That's the pompous. I want to live forever. That That's the reality. I want to leave a legacy. I make music because I want to live forever. I, I th- I've always had, this is fucked up. I've always had this thing where, like, I thought I was going to die early. like Same, dude. Like, within the next year type shit. In yeah. A car, in a car crash or something stupid. I thought a I was going to be dead at 22. A car, or a, plane, a car or a plane or something stupid. So, like, I've been rushing to put the legacy out before I go. So that, like, people have me afterwards. 
And during this time doing that, the past couple months, I realized... You want to know good to know? Oh, it doesn't matter. Like, none of it matters at all. You know? Dude. It really doesn't. So, 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 so this is what I'm saying. Oh, my God. So this is what I'm saying. So just like I'm saying, putting a legacy, being remembered, my ego, whatever that is, won't be fulfilled... Beating someone up who deserves it versus giving them a hug when they don't deserve it. It's the same thing. When we get knocked out, we see nothing. So essentially, there is, like, all the evidence that we have is that it's it's just done. Which means we should just do what we want. Fuck it, let's eat, like, 20 pizzas right now. Let's get cheesy bread. Get 30 hookers. Let's get cheesy bread. Let's dip the hookers in the cheesy bread. Dip and, their tits. And dip, dip them their and nipples the in the cheesy bread. And marinara. Oh. Marinated and marinara. Double toed <laughs> Johnny in this bitch. Two toed Johnny. Two toe with the camel toes. <laughs> this fucking thing don't like staying in there, dude. So, I'll like, what, what? So, what is it, dude? So, like, one thing I feel like it's real shady. A lot like, of sh- I think a lot of thing our holdbacks are moral. You know what really grinds my gears? I hate when people die and they want to just now start listening to my shit. Like if I was to die, I don't want people. That's like, what I just said though. That's why I'm making it. Like all right, dude. Like really, I'm making I fucking this live so that people have something to hear of me when I die. Like imagine if I had a podcast with Cash or. Jimmy or Nick or like just imagine that people would or imagine one interview one more interview with Michael Jackson one more interview with Prince one more interview with Mac Miller imagine that that's why it's my thi- I want to document as much as I can you never fucking know that's why I'm dropping everything all these artists were into contracts like this is a different time we can just drop the shit we can personally reach out to the fucking producers and be like yo I made five of songs to this shit. Let me get three of them. He's going to be like, yo, they're all dope. Take seven more. You know, like, that's how shit works. But, like, we're all in this weird... And I don't like how in this corona shit where Trump's saying, like, America can't wait to get back to work. Like, no. None of us want to work in the first place. We want to do what we want to do. So, like, the, the, <laughs> oh, this, I, this idea that, like, America is just, like, begging and trying to get back. No, like, we want to be, like, we want to do what we want to do. Yeah, we want to go back to the casinos, dude. Do shit, yeah. So, like, the idea that, all right, everyone's stuck at home right now, right? So, imagine if everyone was getting paid 2000 a month, but sports and the casinos and everything was still open. Everybody would be at the beach. They'd be doing the shit. They'd be living, you know? That 2000 a month to everybody would change the whole world. And what I mean, not, econ- not economy-wise, right. I mean mentally. I'm talking, it would help mentally, but you gotta think about this. It really is a fucking real thin line between balance out here, bro. Like, motherfuckers working, doing everything before we were already in a fucking mess of trouble. Now, no, now everything people, has stopped. Everything has stopped. And now we're fucking all sitting around. Well, y'all should be getting paid double. And like, You dude, should be getting dude, paid double Let me right tell now. you this, though. You should be getting more Let me more, tell you this, though. Every, every, every single time we get paid this extra bullshit money. Like, you th- like think about money. We're getting money because we're sitting home. Yeah, we need it because we need to live. Things cost money, yes, but you gotta think about it from this perspective. Why in the mother of fuck are we getting twelve hundred dollar checks to people who don't even fucking do nothing? That's every single American. But the fucking gas prices are also dropping down below a dollar fucking eighty. Like, dude, it's it's not run off gas it's, anymore. You gotta understand what's coming next. The bigger picture is. What's coming next is something really fucking ugly. What? Bro, it is going to be the fucking depression. You th- it's going to be so bad, bro. After all these fucking trillions and trillions of dollars of the money that we make, apparently we are in debt, something bad is going to happen. Like, there is something bad in this fucking world that's going to be like, 
permanently damaged in this, like, market. Like, I'm serious. It's like some shit I think about, bro. Like, how bad things are going to be after everything is back. Like, how much damage, how much am I going to have to fucking pay out of my check? Every single See, week. now, the, the problem isn't the taxes. The problem is the small businesses won't be able to come back from this. and the They're going to lose their bars, bro. Yeah, the major corporations you know what are going to be able to take You know what I'm saying? Coconut over. Grove, dude, is going to lose that motherfucking place, bro. It hasn't been open for weeks, months, almost, what, a couple months now. Apparently we we closed, you know, we closed that bar from Friday the 13th was the last day that place was fucking open. Our shit? Yeah. That was when they fucking, they closed that shit down, bro. Yeah, and I didn't even want to do that. And because you did it for me, man. Yeah, you did. Fat. Lucky we're not sick. We're lucky we're not dead. Dude, we should have gone to that after party. Yeah, why? It was fat? What? It was too fat. With how this is now, looking uh, at it now. Yeah, we should have Yeah, we should have gone to that. You remember we got in your car, you're like, nah, let's just go. Well, no, it Nah, because yeah, because I was ditching. There's reasons. There's, there's reasons. Ditch- there's reasons. There's reasons. There's uh, reasons. Don't uh. say. But <laughs> there's reasons. Thank you, buggers. But uh, you got me so- keeping myself. But all right, dude. We should have. All right, dude. But what were we just talking about? Fucking how the world's gonna be ending after this whole thing. Yeah, uh, no. This is like, this is no. Listen, let let me say this is what I think. I think the world, the U.S. has been in debt for a hundred years, so they needed some bullshit, blah blah. It doesn't matter, like whether this virus is real or not. That doesn't matter. That's irrelevant. Money is not gold. It's not cows and milk and eggs anymore. It's literally paper. So our monetary shit, one dollar bill. A hundred years ago, where it was not even a dollar, it was worth like 79 cents, is only worth like 20 cents right now. There's a reason a hundred years ago they stopped taking putting silver in quarters, because people were melting the quarters down and getting more money worth of silver than the quarter itself. So the monetary system had to get switched. Why do you think pennies are all copper? Everything. Yeah, why do you li- think... Listen, listen, hold on, let me finish, let me finish. So... It's all paper now. It's all paper and digital, which is not real, which is, means there's no means of real trade for people. Currency, money, paper money, is the middle ground for a person with a cow and a person with corn and a person with chicken. I don't need corn, but I need milk. The person who needs milk doesn't need corn, but they need chickens. So that's where the means of, okay, let's all put our shit in a bucket. This is what this is worth. Ten bucks is one dollar is one chicken. Three dollars is one, this thing of milk, you know. That's how the monetary system got worked out. But it got split (coughs) up, obviously, with euros and other shit. But other places are actually still using gold coins and shit. That's besides the point. Gold and shit isn't worth anything Dude. right now. Listen, listen, let me finish. Gold and shit isn't worth anything right now. The fact that everything is ran off of paper and digital shit right now means that we can just print whatever we want. Where the fuck do you think we got this $4 trillion from when we're already in debt to China and other countries? We, the Dude. federal, listen, <clears throat> hold on, listen. The federal government printed $4 trillion. $2 trillion went to the major corporations. $2 trillion went to the American people, which is where the $1,200 comes in. All that money is fake, but it doesn't take the, the value of the dollar down at all because it's for, for survival and infl- inflation hasn't been incorporated yet or whatever. So this, what I'm going with ties into what you're saying. Let me, let me finish though. So now that you bailed out the major corporations and the people and not the small, corp- the small companies, the, the local businesses... When this opens back up, you're still going to have people, let's just say it opens up in two weeks, everybody's still going to be at their own spot, you know what I mean? Everybody's still going to be wary of going out, but the small businesses, think about the people, they're still doing takeout delivery, they're still there, they got the loans or whatever. The problem is the fact that the country just printed out $4 trillion, the stock market crashed, so all the other invisible 
money that the government can create, they're going to invest that in the stock market, and about three, four weeks, right before it picks up again, quadruple the money and erase the American debt that has been there for over a hundred years, which means we'll be in more control, but it doesn't matter because the world is ran off of a milica military control. So what this is saying is we're completely cutting ties with China. So now it goes back to where this shit started. Why did this start? Trump has been trying from his beginning of thing to get everything out of China, get the factories out of China, bring it back to America, bring more work back to America. Do people really want to work, though? Do you really want to work, or do you want to make music all day and hang out on a beach? You don't want to go put... Answer the question! You don't want to go and put doors in. You want to fucking make music and ride dirt bikes and fuck bitches and hang out on a beach. So why isn't that a reality? Why isn't that a possibility to be a reality for everybody? That's where that shit won't get done. Who the fuck's gonna fix it? Who's gonna keep them beaches nice? The people who's, who wanna do it. Who's gonna fucking go ahead and fucking do the shit that people don't wanna do? You know what I mean? The I wanna want, put the doors. The people up. who wanna do it. Yeah, I wanna do doors. Exactly. I'll, I'll so, do. so, okay, I'll so maybe like you would that wanna shit do sometimes. It. Just because, yeah. like, you know, it keeps me on my toes. Like, it keeps me slightly healthy. So maybe you would want. See, this is what I'm saying. The, the idea that humans would just. Sit around is blasphemy. This is what I'm saying. Everybody got paid, right? But imagine if MBA and all that shit was still going on. People would be going out and spending their money at the small businesses. They would be spending their money at the shit. So by adding money to the economy only adds li liquidity to the fucking world. You know what I mean? Regardless if it's fake money or not. Because at the end of the day... It's not gold. It's not a cow or a chicken anymore. Dude, the whole fucking world's gonna run off a of fucking global currency, and it's gonna be all in one fucking bank, on like a card, and everything's gonna go to shit. And I'm cool with that, money. but it should. So, all right. So this is weird. China is. You know how I have like the currency is kindness thing. Like if you remember, I was telling you like if you gave someone a hug, that's like five dollars. If you hold the door for someone, that's five dollars. If you smile, it's a dollar. You know, just automatically added to your bank account. That's kind of how China is, but if you walk across the crosswalk or something, they, like, you're posted up on the shit. Like, it's, it's a different thing, you know? China's crazy, bro, but that's what I'm saying. So, like, connecting into what I was saying earlier, the conspiracies with this whole COVID thing and how it came from China and how we were pulling out of there and the whole world currency and... Dude, it's weird, bro. My only fucking wish is that money just becomes a thing that, you know how we have social securities and IDs? Mm-hmm. Like, <clears throat> instead of voting and going to a place, you should be able to just go on like, this is me, fucking facial recognized, this is my social security, this is my ID, bloom, this is who I am. This is the bank account you gave me. That shit would get thousand, hacked. That nah. shit would get hacked. No, listen. Thousand dollars. No, there's government <clears throat> shit. Thousand dollars yeah. a month. Boom. <coughs> Everybody. Doesn't matter. That would... I'm, tell, I'm telling you, bro. It would change the morality. If you change the morality, the happiness, the... the think about all the crackheads who are doing crack just because they have no hope in life. Because they don't want to work or whatever the reasoning is. They're just crackheads. But if they know they got a thousand a month no matter what coming in, just because they can have a crib and they got this, the rest of their time they can spend actually living or working or whatever, dude, I'm telling you, dude, it would change. And that's what has to happen to raise the consciousness, dude. That's right. the only way. Otherwise, it's going to be like the only way. It's going to be some, some opposite kind of the device what we're all imagining. Right now. Right. Yeah. I'm hoping this shit fucking wraps itself up, but I'll tell you what. Tell them how you feel right now. Tell them bye. Tell them how I feel. And then bye. If you could tell people, if these were the last words to the human race, what would you tell everybody? And then say goodnight. I'm saying goodnight, guys. I love you. John's going to sign us off tonight. Yeah. 
Man, I tell you what, man. If it's the last time I see you dirty smelling motherfuckers, just I, I love you all, man. It's a crazy world we living in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Coronavirus. Fucking bird flu virus. Fucking. Yo. I heard some shit about Atlantic City the other day, bro. What? Didn't a fucking pipe break or something in the ocean? I don't know nothing about no pipes. I don't know nothing about no cast, man. If it broke in the ocean, how would you fucking know? Because there's raw sewage floating in the water. It was sewage pipe? Nah. Yeah, I ain't swimming this summer, bud. I ain't going But we ain't swimming at all because coronavirus. But if you could tell the world one thing, what would it be? Uh, bro gods. If you could be any dinosaur, what would it be? What the fuck? Damn. Uh, what's the one like? Oh, I can't remember the name, bro. But it's fatter than the T Rex. The you know the one that I'm talking about in like Jurassic. The Spinosaurus. The one in Jurassic Park three. I'd be that one. Oh, the fake one? Or Spinosaurus? What the, the one fuck you mean, fake one? The one Don't get swims. into dinosaur talk with me. The one that swims? You want to talk dinosaur? How do you think fucking... Fake? Bro. You don't even... What are you even saying? Fake? The dinosaurs are all fake. No, so. what? <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, think the earth is round, but dinosaurs are fake? Nah, I don't at all. I was just the earth is flat and dinosaurs Wait, are how you real. Gonna call fucking, how you gonna call that? The earth is flat and dinosaurs are real. The earth is round. Okay, what kind of dinosaur do you want to be? T-Rex. No, you said Velociraptor. a big, Velociraptor. The bigger one. I don't fucking know that thing's name. It'll be a Velociraptor. It's a Spinosaurus. Is that what it's called? It's the one like this with the long snout, and it swims. Nah. So you want to be the fake one. It's a big Velociraptor T-Rex. Yeah. Yeah, it's not real. Oh, Jurassic neither world. is a fucking T-Rex, is it? Is All it? right, fuck a... you. I want to be Blastoise. Uh, is that a Pokemon? <laughs> yeah, dude. All right, dude. The I'll... best fucking Pokemon. All right, well, I'm going to be a All fucking... All right, if you could be a Pokemon, who would you be? Charizard. What's your favorite ice cream? Peanut butter shit. Wow. What about cereal? Probably like... I'd say like Fruity Pebbles. When'd you lose your virginity? Eight. Who? How? Next door neighbor, 12 years old, she took advantage of me. Was she ugly? Nah. Was she a babysitter? Sometimes. What kind of shoes was she wearing? Fucking, I don't fucking know, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, guys, we're getting out of here. I don't know what time it is. This is a way long podcast. We didn't mean to do that, but it's Buggy Boggers. It is. Johnny Bones. Good night, guys. We love 4 you. 4 a.m. Live Good life. Night. Good night.